Johnny Heinrich. I'm from Poughkeepsie, New York, originally. From there, I moved to Lexington, Kentucky, to Brussels, Belgium, to West Germany, then West Berlin. Then I decided to come to Nashville. It's a strange way to get here, but it worked for me. My main instrument right now is saxophone. That's where my heart is right now. Probably will always be. One of the first gigs that I had, I worked with Diane Cheryl actually down at Captain's Table and with an artist by the name of Jim Purdy who was working around the area at that time. Joe, Joe. From there I went on to work at the Stockyard restaurants. I was there from March of 86 till August of 95. I worked with Hank Williams Jr. in 91 for three months. Besides that, some of the people that I'm working with right now are T.G. Shepard on a regular basis in his horn section. I also work a lot with Wayne Jackson of the Memphis Horns. He's a great pal of mine, and I have a lot of respect for Wayne. As far as some of my earlier influences on saxophone, I guess the most influential was Charlie Parker, and he was best well known for bebop. The way that he worked with melody is still something that I want to achieve. He was able to do it in a way that didn't leave the listener wondering, where are we at now? I think he was one of the people that, that just, it was just beautiful the way he interpreted melody. Uh, some of the other people, of course, David Sanborn, uh, Junior Walker, way that he approached pop music, Sonny Chris. There's so many good players out there, it's unbelievable. my driving force in music right now, at this very second, I would have to say melody. Melody for me has to be an integral part of the music or there's nothing there for me. A lot of music that I hear today, that's something that's being left out, and I'm trying to bring that back into the fold. I play a little bit of flute, dobro, bass guitar, clarinet. And then I like to augment that with steel guitar, pedal steel guitar. With steel guitar, I'm trying to bring that in very carefully.
me give you a little bit of demonstration on the pedal steel guitar. With one hand I'm picking the strings, with the other hand I'm pushing the bar. Of course that gives you the pedal steel guitar sound. Now if you look on the floor, I've got pedal rods that are going down to foot pedals on the ground. And if I push those, I get different sounds from those. I've also got knee levers under the guitar. And I can use those in conjunction with each other to get different sounds. I hope that gives you some insight on the steel guitar. It certainly is a fun instrument to play, but time to work again, so... When I'm on stage, that's just a magical feeling. I'm in a magical world, and I try to convey that to the audience through melody, through my instrument, through just actions and... and... Wow, that's... <laughs> create the kind of atmosphere that will take your listener to a place that that listener wants to go. I think that's where most music, most of the successful music is right now. The ongoing project for me right now is called Heinrich Maneuver and the driving force behind Heinrich Maneuver is melody, strictly melody and will always be melody. The concept for Heinrich Maneuver started back in the 80s when I was in Europe and I was in Brussels, Belgium and I was exposed to a lot of the kind of pop music that they had going on over there. We heard a lot of hollow notes and, and stuff like that where they actually used a lot of saxophone. I wanted to stay with simple melodies, good melodies, and, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. If you'd like to learn more about Heinrich Maneuver and about myself, uh, you can go to my personal website at www.johnheinrich, that's J-O-H-N, H-E-I-N-R-I-C-H dot net and you'll find a link on there to my MySpace website and then I have another separate MySpace for Heinrich Maneuver. My personal website, I've got a lot of nostalgic things on there, things that I've done before, my, one of my first groups, the Buffalo Bombers. Uh, I've got some of the things from uh, Hank Williams Jr. on that tour and a lot of pictures from when I played down at the stockyard. You'd find it very interesting. I guess one of the more interesting stories for me personally was when I was in Berlin and we played at what was called the Deutschlandhalle. We had won Marlboro's Best Country Band for Germany that year and we toured around Germany but we ended up in Berlin. But we came back the next day to uh, tear down and I heard this guy jump up on stage and he started playing flute. I knew who, immediately who it was. It was Ian Anderson from Jethro Tull. And that was kind of an exciting thing to meet him. I'd, he was just walking around playing his flute on the stage because they were getting ready to come on as we were moving off. I walked up to him and I said, are you Ian Anderson? And he said, yes, I am Ian Anderson. I am the flute player for Jethro Tull. <laughs>